Hi everyone, it's Cherry Enchantress. Okay, so I have another kind of installment here on my Twin Flame journey that's leading up to this big surprise I have for everybody. So I am going to be doing monthly astrology readings about your Twin Flame situationship. <laughs> so I will go through every single sign and coming up next will be May twin flame reading. Right now I'm going to just do a general collective reading for the month of May on your twin flame relationship for the collective. So we have, I'm going to use this little spread that I just, that I can't put in my, my little booklet that you can get with a holographic deck and it's part of the um, spreads that you can see in the back here see there okay so we're gonna follow this spread so we're just gonna lay out four cards cards on either side and compare the divine masculine and the divine feminine in the month of May so we'll uh, look at his feelings I'm saying his but it can be his or her because masculine just represents the essence but necess not necessarily the sex okay so just keep that in mind if you resonate with the masculine energy and you're a female just kind of do your best to overlook the pronouns that you know might use here and there. But anyway, masculine's feelings, thoughts, hopes, and actions. Her feelings, thoughts, hopes, and actions. And we'll just um, alternate back and forth. Okay. So, and then we'll have a final. Well, I think we might. Maybe we'll start with this. So the general. The general feeling for the masculine and the feminine for the month of May using the Whispers of Love cards, Oracle deck. Let's get a general message for our twin flames out there. I'm, you know, it's like I might as well embrace this. Oh my gosh, <laughs> beautiful and perfect. Okay, so this is your true love. Whoever you're thinking about, this is your true love, okay? This is this love is once in a lifetime. So don't, you know, don't diminish it in any way or I don't know what to say about it. It's like, don't. Let's see. Take it for granted. Don't forget. Remember who you were. Remember what it what you promised each other. Okay, let's see. What is the divine masculine's feelings in the month of May? What are his feelings in the month of May? What are the Divine Masculine's feelings in the month of May? Okay, there you go. He wants to be the Emperor. He wants to be in his Divine Masculine position. You know, that is... It can mean a lot of things, too. You know, it's about... It could be about dominance. It could be about control. It could be about having this... Uh, air of maybe superiority it's a but it's about the essence and the strength of what it takes or what it means to be the masculine so they're willing to put to to fulfill their role which is wonderful so he feels I think he feels he's either ready or he's willing or he wants to you know, show that he is that he recognizes his role. I think that's what it could be. So, what are her feelings? What are the divine feminine's feelings in the month of May? <laughs> All right, she is running. I <laughs> know she's she realizes this is. A very, it, it's a serious journey. It's a transformative journey. It's the rites of passage. It's her, she, she might be looking at it from a very personal point of view and not as much as a consented point, you know, a two in the same boat kind of feeling. 
she may be seeing it more of a she's alone in this you know that she's trying to do this journey on her own but she's not he is there and he is supporting her this could also represent her feeling like there's something that she has to do and she's accepting that she is on this on this journey headed to the unknown moving forward realizing it's a healing process um maybe she is accepting she might have to go on some on some kind of travel or trip to get to her destination to to meet this this outcome <sighs> something in the month of may so she's feeling like she might have to travel or there's some kind of movement co going on or that oh, some kind of rites of passage or she might have this this movement going forward okay what are his thoughts what are the divine masculine's thoughts in the month of may what is the divine masculine's thoughts in the month of may the logic, you know, the the mind, how he may logically interpret his feelings, you know. What are the Divine Masculine's thoughts? <laughs> okay, let's see. This one wants to come out. Okay, let's see what this is. So we have the, the Princess of Swords. That's an interesting thought. So his thoughts is logical because swords is of the mind, is of the brain. <sighs> there is kind of a, the princess here represents a child essence. His thoughts could have to do with, so in this deck, the princess represents resourcefulness and ingenuity a period of life that requires a deliberate strategy so his thoughts are i know what i want i know who you know his feelings are definitely i am the emperor i know my my role um his thoughts are in order to get what i want i have to come up with some kind of strategy strategy to get to what I need because I know what I want but it's knowing is just is one aspect it's it's the how and maybe he's not quite maybe he wants to help the universe along so his uh, idea might he might be trying to micromanage the universe maybe or maybe he's trying to take the signs from the universe verse the universe and and flow with it and go with it and take the initiative so he's he's looking at it and i feel like the child here also represents a sense of wisdom you know uh, a childlike wonder a childlike way of looking at it and it's not does a child to me doesn't um, equate immature all the time sometimes it does but it also represents, I think it equates a purity. It represents a certain way of looking at things that sometimes adults have forgotten as they get older, right? All right, so let's see. What are her thoughts on the feelings? Okay, <laughs> you've got the Enchantress. So the Enchantress is, so she's thinking, okay, all right, I'm I'm take I'm about to take this trip. I'm taking this journey. I'm on it. I'm doing it. I'm I'm willing to go to distance. I'm willing as you know, she has sort of this pained look on her face. Like I know this this image in art represents someone's you know, passing, but for the 6 of sword swords it means more like a passage you know it's not so it's kind of like accepting things and the good and the bad the pain and the the joy so the the aim the enchantress her thoughts are about 
a tap she's a little bit going into her high priestess mode here maybe it's sort of an existential it's like rising up out of her physical frustrations and pains and just and and using her knowledge to a certain extent like really just seeing herself for who she is just like he sees himself as the emperor she sees herself as the teacher the guide possible shapeshifter sometimes sometimes she know she knows she has to adapt just like she has to accept she also has to adapt to certain situations she has to adapt to the changes and because she has a, a wisdom about her that's similar to you know all of the high ladies of the major arcana like the high priestess and the empress and the star she has this kind of high knowledge and and wisdom that helps keep her going through all of this so that's what she keeps tapping into and she could also be tapping into um you know guardian angel or um a fairy godmother type person that's near her or part of her part of her awareness so her thoughts are I'm not going to be a victim i'm not going to look at focus on the negative i'm going to kind of rise above and then and tap into that higher energy and knowledge okay let's see what his hopes are in the matter what are the divine masculine's hopes for his divine feminine in the month of may i guess that's kind of how it's going to go like this person's hope for this person and this person's hopes for this person <laughs> back and forth what are the divine masculine's hopes for his divine or their divine feminine in the month of may what is the hopes well wow nice so we've got the nine of cups which is actually the hopes card and it just represents you know seeing things working out to the best of all concerned i also really kind of feel like the divine masculine here is hoping for a feast <laughs> a date um enjoyment so, you know some kind of time of satisfaction and joy and material and emotional needs being met you know a time of lightheartedness and cheerfulness and good comfort company and comfort you know and having a, just a feeling satisfied feeling good about the situation so the, his true hope definitely is feeling satisfied and yeah so that's really sweet let's see what the divine feminine's hopes are towards their divine masculine in the month of may what are the divine feminine's hopes to her masculine the month mate well we got two kind of came out so we can just say for some of you specifically out this out there this could represent the divine masculine could be um an air sign air king uh libra gemini aquarius and it could also it could represent you know the divine me uh, feminine's hope that that all the essence of this king of swords energy like relaxes a bit like because king of swords is known to be somewhat uh protective and so let his guard down so to speak she, maybe she's looking for him to let his guard down to open up and let things um flow through you know um he can be a bit <laughs> uncompromising sometimes you know but and then the bottom line is you know that she would like to see him her hopes is that he becomes his most uh authentic self truthful and true to himself but ultimately for the majority of you guys out there her hope is to have the same thing it's the nine of cups is very similar to the world in that there's a sense of fulfillment and joy and happiness here so her her hope or the divine feminine's hope is joy just same joy and 
integration and having the total experience and, and feeling complete and destiny arriving and the manifestation becoming reality satisfaction same you know it's like they said same at the same time um the end of the journey you know like this has been a long haul but she is very excited to get there <laughs> you know she wants to get there happiness of course and prosperity and the grand view and rapture and home so very similar desires you know i think his are more tangible in the into the the food and, and the drink and the joy but hers is similar just a little bit more esoteric joy although she probably likes the food and drink as well you know all right so let's see about what are his actions going to be so what is he going to do to get to this point or get to his divine feminine what will the divine masculine what will the divine masculine's actions be in the month of may what will the divine masculine's actions be in the month of may i'm just going to put this up so you can see that it says true love <laughs> What are the Divine Masculine's actions in the month of May? Let's see. What are the Divine Masculine's... What will be their actions in the month of May? Let's see. Getting any closer? To get into the, the feminine? He's... I know he could be in his mind a lot, trying to figure out a solution. So, well, a bunch of different cards came out. I'm not sure which one is the main one to look at. Okay, none of those. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, let, let's try this again. <laughs> okay, what are his... Because they, well, it had a little bit of and it is a little bit of a fight. I think he might stand up for his rights, but let's see. What will his actions be? <laughs> let's see. Let's just get one, please. Please, spirits, guides, just find one good card to explain the Divine Masculine's actions in the month of May. One good, there we go. Ooh, okay, the Hanged Man. Oh, but uh, with it, the Six of Swords. Wow. Okay, here we go. So, this is so interesting. And it, it's like they tied together. They came together. But this time, this boat has everyone in the boat. Her boat was her solo, right? This boat has everybody. They're all in this journey. But let's take a look at the hanged man first. Okay. Hanged man usually means some kind of suspension some kind of sacrifice sometimes it represents pisces let's see what we can think what else comes up about the hanged man all right so his actions were going to be really interesting like i was mentioning before it's, it wasn't shown here it did flip a little bit the the two of swords being in your mind and having this sort of it's not just monkey mind, it's like overthinking. It's like not being able to get out of the mind. Thinking is fine and weighing pros and cons is fine, but when you're just stuck in that forever without end, it doesn't help. But the hanged man in this case is really interesting. So it's kind of an enlightenment. It's having a radically new perspective on things. So beyond just logic and thinking it to death, a spark comes, an idea comes, the strategy finally comes and everything becomes aligned. So there there will be a transition period. Um, there's a farewell to the past and there's a farewell to this stagnation, this not moving. And um, there will be, ha there will have to be a, um, uh, some kind of sacrifice, but it will be different than what he, I think what the masculine expected, you know, like I think he had sort of worst case scenario playing in his head so much that it, this idea never even occurred to him and it's just going to pop into his head and really help think, help him see, see through a different kind of strategy. So 
<laughs> so let's see a little bit more now about this six of swords so i think that will that action or that epiphany of sorts will move will help move him on to his um onto the actual action so the six of swords just like both decks are very similar, except we have the picture of the family here, and I feel like this is this is him grabbing onto his feminine and saying, let's go together off into the sunset, or let's travel this together, or else, or it, it may not be, it could be physical, but it may also be metaphorical. It could be like, I acknowledge you. I acknowledge that I'm your divine masculine. I have an idea and a strategy. I'm in this now. I'm in this for the long haul and I want you to know that I'm in this. And we're traveling this together. You're not doing this alone as, as much as you think that you were. And maybe I gave you the impression that you were doing this journey on your own. No, we're in this together. And I, and I want more with you. I want the family. I want the legacy I want to keep, I want to continue with you. So his actions will be sort of, um, after this sort of epiphany, will be sort of taking steps, movement, uh, movement to new shores, new movement to a way to a new perspective, movement and progress, personal development. Could even be taking a trip, you know, just the same as you could be. Or maybe so, maybe meeting in the middle somewhere, you know, <laughs> maybe meeting in the middle. Um, but uh, something, something along those lines. Okay, so <laughs> what will her actions be? What will the divine feminine's actions be in the month of May towards her divine masculine? All right. Oh, nice. Look at that. So we have the three of pentacles. So, I mean, we could take this as, as, um, no, see the whole deck, my whole deck was upside down. So I think that means that, yeah, this is right side up. Oh, and funny. I, I normally, I had been placing them down, the deck down, but I placed this face up and you have justice here. So justice kind of like this angel that fell down and said, Hey, I'll help you. And then you have, you have, um, you have the lovers choice lovers. Okay. Making a choice. So, okay. There, that's pretty good over there. And then over here you have picking the right one. So she also, and giving lots of love and waiting, so so feminine's also wow and moving towards this this happily ever after very nice okay so i feel like with her definitely she wants to create something she wants to she her actions will be maybe um more uh examples physical examples of her love you know like um well i i see sometimes a masterpiece of thing making things you know, it could be artwork or some kind of ode to your to the love of your life you know to your twin flame masculine but in general too just teamwork like meeting him eye to eye when he comes up with this idea and he's tells her exactly how he's thinking then she's like yeah okay that sounds doable let's do this you know they can actually decide to work on a project together which brings them close together this is fulfillment this is collaboration and endurance so part of her actions will having this stick to it stick to itiveness attitude focusing very hard on the ultimate goal and um and, and and having faith in their partnership that things will work out. So, I mean, I think she's going to be using a lot of her skills to, to progress towards, you know, the whatever they're progressing towards, their true love. The, whatever is this plan, I feel like he's got the idea and she's kind of like, okay, here's my part. Here's what I'm offering to your strategy. Do you think this is going to work for the both of us? Mm -hmm. Think we can do this? And it looks like something. there's definitely some kind of movement 
towards some greater goal in the month of May for the both of you. I feel at the very least a nice seeing eye to eye on things, you know, and in it together collaborating and not you being alone or the feminine being alone in this situation or the masculine even being so um, stuck in his duties but willing to open up his his mind to new possibilities and meet you halfway so definitely i feel like a collaboration coming up for the two of you somehow some way i see travel too so a lot of travel images here with the world and the both sides having the six of swords so that's really exciting too okay guys that was so fun i'm gonna do this now i'm gonna do this for every single sign i think something like this anyway we'll see um and um that will be the next coming up i'll just start with the top with aries and then keep going so hope you liked it faith trust and pixie dust